You're watching Minity Maths. Today, we're going to explain the solutions to the puzzles in last week's video. There are four maths puzzles to test your problem solving skills. Check out last week's video, linked above, if you want to have a go at these on your own. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for weekly videos. Now, let's dive into the first puzzle. Jamie has a bag of sweets. She gives half of them to her friend Emily, and then she eats three sweets herself. After that, she notices she has exactly seven sweets left. How many sweets did Jamie start with? Let's have a look at the solution. It's easier if we work backwards. There are now seven sweets. Let's add back the three sweets Jamie ate. We now have 10 sweets. As Jamie gave away half of the sweets and was left with 10, we should double 10 to find the original amount. So, there are 20 sweets to start with. Let's have a look at the next puzzle. A caterpillar is climbing up a 10 meter wall. Every day, it climbs 3 meters up, but slips back 2 meters at night. How many days will it take for the caterpillar to reach the top of the wall? Every 24 hours, the caterpillar climbs 1 meter up the wall overall, as we minus the 2 meters that it slips back at night. After 7 days, the caterpillar has reached 7 meters, so it starts day 8 at 7 meters high. On the 8th day, during the daytime, it climbs 3 meters and reaches the top. Therefore, on the last day, the caterpillar doesn't slip back as it's already reached the top. So it will take the caterpillar 8 days to reach the top of the wall. Puzzle 3 you have a rectangular chocolate bar made up of 24 small squares. You can break the chocolate bar along its straight lines, horizontal or vertical. What is the minimum number of breaks needed to separate all 24 squares? Each break of the bar increases the total number of pieces by one. For example, we start with one piece, the whole bar, and after the first break we have two pieces. We always have one piece more than the number of times we make a break. Therefore, 23 breaks will result in 24 pieces. Here is the last puzzle. A father is three times as old as his son. In 10 years, he will be twice as old as his son. How old are the father and the son now? Let's use algebra for this. Let the son's current age be x. So the father's age is 3 times x, 3x. In 10 years, their ages will be as follows. At this point the father's age is twice the son's age, so we can write the following equation displaying this. Now solve the equation for x. So x equals 10. If we substitute the value of x into the original expressions we wrote out, we can work out their current ages. The son is currently 10 years old and the father is 30 years old. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.